Hello, welcome to Learn How to Cook with Alex Lawson. Today I'm going to show you how to make a poached egg in the microwave. It's 11.45, I'm hungry, and I'm going to show you how it works. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to flip the screen. How do you, how do you flip the screen? Alright, I'm just going to do it after like, like this. So, I have this um, Tupperware container full of water. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the Tupperware container full of water in the microwave. So here we go. It's in the microwave. You see it? Okay. Now I'm gonna put like two minutes. Okay. So the idea is we want to get the water to a nice boil or simmer. Because if it's boiling or simmering, we're gonna be able to cook the egg. Okay. We're gonna edit this out here. It's gonna be edited. Oh, we'll leave it. So I just... <laughs> okay. So as as you can see, in this refrigerator, I have two two eggs. Okay, there's two eggs in here. What we're gonna do is you want to you want to cook your eggs. And something that's like salty, right? Saltiness is key for eggs and like everything. So I'm getting some salt. Um, so generally poached eggs are really nice. They're really good because like the outside of the egg, like the white part is cooked, but the inside of the egg, like the yellow part, like isn't cooked. And uh, people like that because you know, it's all runny and tasty and stuff. And poached eggs aren't that hard. Like the idea of a poached egg is, um, is essentially that if you like put it in like nice simmering water, it'll just like come together into like something like very light and tasty. And um, you know, they're good for like, uh, like if you have another type of food and you want like a sauce on it, but you're not sure what to do for your sauce, you can just put a poached egg on it. And then the egg is the sauce, right? The egg yolk becomes the sauce. All right, so we're gonna check on our water now. Okay, so that's why, that water's warm. It's not hot. Let's focus on our egg. So this is, this is actually, might be the most important thing we do. Actually, I'm gonna take this out. So I have this non-salted water, okay? I'm gonna pour it into the container full of salt, okay? Mm, nice. And the salt is dissolved in the water. This is pretty hot water. Okay, so the main technique that we're gonna do is, like, if you if you just drop an egg right into water, okay? So you just like have hot water and you just drop an egg, like the egg is gonna like be an egg and it's gonna like spread out. And that's not gonna be good because your poached egg won't be like a whole thing, it'll be like spread out egg in water. And that's not good. So the solution that people came up with was you get the water spinning around in a circle. Okay, so you like, so you like whirlpool the water. Okay, and what happens is, you know how an egg floats, right? So that's because an egg is less dense than water. And when you swirl it, you have something called, well, centripetal, but centrifugal is like easier to understand. Like centrifugal force, which essentially says that like the heavier things are gonna move to the outside. So like. If you have a centrifuge and you put like orange juice in it, you like spin the orange juice around, the heavy stuff is gonna go to the outside. So you like get all the pulp on the outside and you have this like perfectly clear orange juice. Or people use centrifuges for like lots of things. So that's the idea. We want centrifugal force. Okay, so this this water is like is like almost there. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put it in for like another 30 seconds, okay? Because we want hot water, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna take my uh, egg and I'm gonna crack it in the bowl. So here's my bowl. We go crack, crack, crack an egg. I don't want to get it everywhere. Okay, and then there we go. Our egg is in this bowl. Now I want to figure out how we can film this properly. Okay, so that you see it like that. Okay, okay. So it's done. So we're gonna do. Uh, I need a utensil. Shit. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna use a spoon here. It was ten seconds. We want it nice and hot. Yeah. Start. Okay. So when it when it comes out, we're gonna just like drop this egg. We're gonna spin it around. Get like the water spinning. And then it's gonna set the future because the air egg is lighter. It's gonna like go, oh shit. It's gonna like go to the outside. So here we go. We're spinning. Okay, we're spinning. The uh the water is spinning around, forming like a little a whirlpool. Get it nice and fast. Okay, and then drop our egg in. And see how it like ni like nicely comes together? Because it's all sort of spinning around like that. Like, I didn't really get it spinning that well. But it did, like, kind of come together, right? Yeah. So, okay. So now we're going to put the heat on a little more. And this is this is where you got to, like, kind of kind of watch it, right? Because you don't want the yolk to, like, cook, right? You want the, the white to cook. And you generally have, like, a couple, a little bit of wiggle room because... The egg yolk, like, the proteins in the egg yolk curdle together, I think, like, two degrees higher than the egg white, which doesn't sound like much, but, like, when you're in the realm between, like, simmering water or, like, tea water, which is, like, 90 or 85 degrees Fahrenheit, more like 90, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and, like, boiling, wait, shit. No, like, tea water is, like, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, Celsius. Yeah, like, 80 degrees Celsius, something, something like that. Maybe 90 degrees Celsius. And boiling tea, or boiling water is, like, 100 degrees Celsius. So, like, I don't know. So, here we go. So, we got, we got some nice boiling here. Let's see, and this is when you check on your egg. You don't want to, like fuck with it too much because you want it to just kind of like exist and like the uh, egg whites kind of bind together so if you have like wispy egg whites and you like fuck with it and you like spin it around they're not going to bind together properly but like the non-cooked egg whites are going to cook and bind together the wispy egg whites so we put it in for another minute I'm a little worried it's going to overcook, so I'm going to take it out. Okay, uh, that was another 25 seconds. Okay, so here we go. We got our we got our boiling egg. Um, now, now the question is, we got to get it out of this like, water and put it in the thing. Let's see. Okay, so we got... How are we going to do this? All right, all right. So, here we go. Is our egg in simmering water, and here's the um, the not simmering water. So here we go. We're gonna pick it up. Oh fuck! This is definitely cooked through. No, it's not. Okay, we put pick it, pick it up. We put it in there. See, we still got some wispy things, which happens, especially if like you don't centrifuge it that well. You know, spin it. Like if you do this in a pot, that's really nice because. You get the centrifuge thing going. Okay, so so you made your egg. Some people are just salt and pepper. But I think like salt and pepper is like tasty, but like there's more interesting things. I got hot sauce. I think it's good on eggs. Like hot sauce, like spicy. Spicy stuff goes good with like fatty stuff. So I'm thinking because you got that like sauceness of the um of the egg yolk. It's like very rich, it's like butter essentially. It's like butter with protein in it. 
right? Like f- spiciness and acidity, like hot sauce is going to go good. So here we go. So can you see that egg? Yeah, you can see that egg. Let's see. Let's see how we did. So here we go. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's a poached egg. Yeah, definitely. Um, as you can see, we went a little bit over. But, um, I don't know. That's a poached egg. You might be worried about this, like, water here. But, like, that's salt water. And so that's just going to, like, make it tasty. All right, let's see how it is. That was, like, a poached egg. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. I think I uh, put it in a little too long. Some of that egg yolk cooked. Um, not, not much of it. I like some of it. Um, so that was how to make a poached egg with Alex Lawson. Uh, tune in next week um, to try to make a fire in your dorm room.